for shit. Oh, what a nasty word. Parubu, you're a dirty old man. Watch out, I don't bash your nut in, Marubu. It's not me you want to do in, old Ubu. Oh, no. There's someone else for the high jump. By my green candle, I'm not with you. How come? Do you mean to say that you are content with your lot? For shit, madam, yes. By God, I am perfectly satisfied. Who wouldn't be? Captain in the Dragoons, aide de, de camp to King Wenceslas, decorated with the Order of the Red Eagle of Poland, ex-King of Aragon. Can't get higher than that. So what? Having been King of Aragon, you are content to ride in reviews at the head of 50 bumpkins armed with billhooks when you could get your loaf measured for the crown of Poland? Uh, I, I don't understand a word you're saying, Mother. How stupid can you get? By my green candle. King Wenceslas is still alive, but isn't he? And even if he does kick the bucket, hasn't he masses of children? Why shouldn't you finish off the whole bunch and put yourself in their place? Now, by God, madam, you really have gone too far. And you shall be, very shortly, beaten up, good and proper. You great slob! If I'm beaten up, who's going to put a patch on the seat of your pants? So what? Haven't I a bum like everyone else? If I were you, I should try sitting that bum on a throne. You could become enormously rich, eat as many bangers as you like, and roll through the streets in a fine carriage. If I were king, I'll get them to make me a great bonnet. Like the one I used to wear in Aragon, which those lousy Spaniards had the cheek to pinch off of me. And you go get yourself an umbrella. And a guard's officer's great coat that would come right down to your feet. It's more than I can resist. For shit a bugger! And bugger up a shit! If I catch him alone on a dark night, he's for it. Well done, Parubu. Now you're talking like a man. Oh, no. Me, a captain in the Dragoons. The brutally murder of the King of Poland. I'd rather die. Oh, per shit. So you want to stay as poor as a church mouse, hmm, Mr. Ubu? God's bones, madam. Per shit. I'd rather be poor. As the stingiest mouse, then rich as the cruelest cat. And your bonnet, and your umbrella, and your officer's great coat. And then what? You old cow. Pafard, shit! what a stingy bastard. Pafard, shit! I think I've got him shifting just the same. Thanks be to God and myself, within a week I may be Queen of Poland. You're looking exceptionally ugly tonight, madam. Is it because we have company? Shit. I'm rather hungry. I think I'll bury my teeth in this bird. A chicken, <laughs> I fancy. Not bad at all. You wretch, what are our guests going to eat? Well, there's plenty of that for them. I shan't touch another thing. Go look out of the window, Mark Ubu. We'll see if our guests have arrived. Oh, here comes Captain Manure and his merry men. Old Ubu, what are you eating now? Nothing, nothing, just a spot of veal. The veal! He's eaten my veal, the loud the veal! Help! Help! <laughs> By my green candle, I'll gouge your eyes out. Good day, gentlemen. We have been awaiting your arrival with impatience. Good day, madam. But, uh, where is Mr. Ubu? Here I am. Here I am. By my green candle, for shit! I shouldn't have thought I was so easy to miss. Good day, Mr. Ubu. Well, madam, and what uh, succulent dishes have you prepared for us today? Mm -hmm. Polish broth, spare ribs of Polish bison, veal, chicken and hound pie, Parsons' noses from the royal Polish turkeys, Charlotte Russe. That's enough. Did you have any more? Iced pudding, salad, 
fruit, cheese, boiled beef, Jerusalem farty chokes, and cauliflower a la prosciutto. You think I'm an oriental poke, Dave? Eh? Shelling out all that money. Take no notice of him. He's off his rocker. You wait. I shall sharpen my teeth on your shanks. Why don't you eat up and shut up, old Ubu? Hey, try the Polish broth. You know what, Maka? <coughs> You're right. Hasn't quite come off. You ill-mannered louts. What do you want? I've got an idea. Back in a jiffy. Gentlemen, <laughs> let's try. <laughs> oh, excellent. What there is left of it. Mm -hmm. And now for the parson's nose. Mm -hmm. oh, absolutely delicious. <laughs> Hurrah for Ma Ubu! Hurrah for Ma Ubu! And soon you'll be yelling, Hurrah for Pa Ubu! Try a taste of that. Ah! Pass me the spare ribs of Polish bison, mother, and I'll dish them out. Yeah. <coughs> Get out, all of you. I've got something I want to say to Captain Manure. But we haven't had our dinner yet. Not had your dinner. Get out, I say. <coughs> all of you. Not you, Manure. Are you still there? By my green candle, I'll do you all in. What with bison ribs? No! Ow! Get out! Off you! Oh, oh, Get out! Right 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 you and the man you think you You pop over again! You run out of us! Give it all skunk! Do I make myself plain? Well, good, they've gone. That's better. Uh, now, we can uh, relax. Well, Captain. Did you enjoy your dinner? Very good, sir. Except for the prosciutto. Oh, I didn't think the prosciutto was too bad. A little of what you fancy, they say. <sighs> Captain Rainier, uh... Oh. I am going to... create you... Duke of Lithuania. But I thought you were completely broke, Mr. Ubu. In a few days, with your help, I shall be king of Poland. You mean you will assassinate Wenceslas? The bugger's no fool, he's guessed it. If it's a matter of killing Wenceslas, I'm with you. I'm his deadly enemy and I can answer for my men. Oh, Manure, I love you dearly for that. Oh, God, man, how you stink! Don't you ever wash? Occasionally. Never. I'm going to tread on your toes. Fat lump of pushit. Well, Manure, that's all for now. But I swear to you, on the head of Mar Ubu, that I'm going to make you Duke of Lithuania. But... Silence, my angel. Master Ubu! I have resolved to reward you for your many services as captain of dragoons. <laughs> and I therefore proclaim you Count of Sandomir. Oh, sire. I am speechless with gratitude. <laughs> Don't <laughs> think nothing of it. <laughs> but be sure to be present tomorrow morning at our grand review. I shall be there, sire. In the meantime, kindly deign to accept this magnificently decorated Kazu. You don't expect me to start playing a kazoo at my age, surely? <laughs> well, <laughs> I give it to young Bogolas. <laughs> <laughs> what no fool he is, this ubu creature. <laughs> well, uh, I'll bugger off. I ruptured my gut and smashed my rattle box. Oh, do! <laughs> Are you hurt? Yes, badly. And I shall certainly croak. What will become of Mar Ubu? Oh, we shall provide for her upkeep. You are most kind. <laughs> and generous, sire. But you'll be liquidated just the same, King Wenceslas. It's 
high time we planned our little conspiracy. Let each give his counsel. With your permission, we will begin with mine. Speak, Mr. Ubu. Very good, my friends. I am of the opinion that we should simply poison the king by stuffing his lunch with arsenic. <laughs> <laughs> the moment he starts the browsing and scoffing, he'll drop dead and I shall be king. Oh. <laughs> you wicked old thing, you. <laughs> well, you don't like that idea? All right, then. Let's hear from Manure. My suggestion is that I fetch him a good wallop with my sword and cleave him from top to toe. <laughs> yep. Very yep. noble and gallant. <laughs> but, but, supposing he kicks out at you. I've just remembered. For his grand parades, he wears iron boots, which can be jolly painful. <laughs> if I had half a chance, I'd snitch on the lot of you. That way I'd be rid of the whole beastly business and very likely pick up a reward into the bargain. Oh, the traitor, the coward, the rotten mean skunk! Come on, down with old Joe! Gentlemen, or I'll turn you all in. Very well, I'll take all the risks on your behalf. Uh, Captain Manure, is it agreed that your job is simply to split the king down the middle? Wouldn't it be better if we all jumped on him in at once, shouting and yelling? That way we'd have a better chance of winning over the troops. Uh, no, no, look, I'll tell you what. I'll try to tread on his toe. He'll kick out at me. I'll yell, push it. And that will be the signal for you all to hurl yourselves upon him. Uh. And then the moment he's dead, you'll pinch his crown and scepter. And I and my men will go in pursuit of the royal family. Uh. Keep a sharp lookout for young Bogolas. Uh. One moment, gentlemen. We are forgetting an indispensable ceremony. We must all take an oath to quit ourselves like men. But how can we? We haven't got a priest. Oh, My right. old woman will be the priest. No, oh, oh, so oh, oh, oh. Do you all swear on the head of Madame Ubu to kill the king good and proper? We, we swear it. Long live old Ubu. Ubu. Really, sire, are you quite determined to attend this parade? And pray, madam, why not? I'll tell you once more. No. <laughs> I saw him in a dream, smiting you with massed weapons and throwing you into the vistula. And an eagle, like that which figures in the arms of Poland, placing the crown on his head. Chop! On whose head? Old Ubu's. So ridiculous. Master Ubu is a most worthy gentleman who would let himself be dragged apart by wild horses rather than betray my interest. How, How wrong, wrong you are. are! Silence, young rascal. And as for you, madam, to show you what complete faith I have in Master Ubu, I shall attend the grand parade dressed as I am, without sword or respite. I shall never see you again alive. No! No. Come, Ladislas. Come, Ladislas. <coughs> May God and the great Saint Nicholas protect you. Ah, noble Master Obo, enter the royal enclosure with your followers. And we will review the march past together. Look, shall we, clocks? Coming, sire. <laughs> ah! Mm. <laughs> There's my regiment of Danziger horse guards. Oh, what a magnificent spectacle! Do you really think so? Looks like something the cat brought in. Look at that one. You there? Why did you last have a shave? You lousy slob. This fellow is very well turned out. What on earth is the matter with you, old Ubu? This. Treason! Who? 
For shit! For shit! At you! Help! 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 Help!
Read out my list of my titles and possessions. <coughs> Count of Sandomir. Count. The princedoms first, stupid bugger. Mm. Princedom of Podolia, Grand Duchy of Posen, Duchy of Courland, the County of Sandomir, County of Vitebsk, Palatinate of Pollock, Margravate of Thorn. Go on. That's the lot. What do you mean, that's the lot? Oh, well. I'm going to make some laws next. Mm, that would be worth watching. I shall begin by reforming the judicial code and then turn my attention to financial matters. We are strongly opposed to any change. So, per shit. In the first place, judges will no longer receive a salary. And, and what, what shall we live on? We are all poor men. You'll keep the fines you impose and the possessions of those you condemn to death. Oh, it's unthinkable, infamous, scandalous, contemptible. We, we refuse, refuse to judge under such, such conditions. Now the hats with the judges. <laughs> oh. Oh, what have you done, Barupu? <laughs> Who will administer justice now? I, I will. You'll see how well it will work out. <laughs> yes, it'll be a right old mess. Shut your gob, clownish female. I'm now going to turn my attention to financial matters. In the first place, I intend to pocket half the tax receipts. Oh, but that's ridiculous. Quite absurd. It doesn't make sense. Are you making fun of me? Get down the hatch, all of you. <laughs> oh! the whole world. So, the shit. No more justice, no more financial system. Fear nothing, <laughs> my sweet child. I shall go around the villages myself and collect the taxes. Hey, did you hear the news? Huh? The king is dead. And all the nobles as well. What's more, Parobu has seized the throne, and it seems they're going to raise all the taxes, and that Parobu is going to make all the rounds in person to, to, to collect them. Oh, my God. What will become of us? Look, sounds like someone's knocking at the door. Open up the ship in the names of St. John, St. Peter, and St. Nicholas. By my cash sword and my cash horn, I have come to collect the taxes. One of you is the oldest. I, uh, what's the name? Stanislaus Lichinsky. Well then, Hornstrumpot, listen carefully, or these gentlemen will extrude your near own. <laughs> hey, listen, will you? <laughs> but Your Excellency hasn't said anything yet. I've been standing here for an hour. Do you think I came here just to amuse myself with the echo of my own voice? No thought could be further from my mind, sire. Well then, I've come to tell you, or do you, uh, and inform you that you are to produce and display your ready cash immediately, or you'll all be massacred. Come on in, for financial gentlemen, you sons of fours. Wheel in the for financial wheelbarrow. Oh, mercy, Lord Ubu, have pity on us. We're poor, simple people. I couldn't care less, fair. But we can't. We've already paid. Walk out, or I'll give you the works, good and proper. Torture, twisting of the neck, and de decapitation. Horns trump out! Am I, or am I not, your king? Oh, in that case, to arms, fellows! Long live Bogolas! By the grace of God, King of Poland and Lithuania! Oh, and the financial gentlemen, do your duty. Well, citizen, you're in a fine pickle, aren't you? 
You wanted me to pay you back what I owed you, and when I refused, you rebelled and plotted against me. And where did that get you? In Jack Hornboodle. Take care, treacherous old Ubu. In the five days since you've been king, you've committed more crimes and murders than it would take to damn all the saints in paradise. <laughs> Gentlemen, I declare this meeting open. As I was saying, our finances are in a fairly good state. In every direction, there is a vista of burning houses and the sound of our peoples groaning under the weight of our finances. How are the new taxes going, Mr. Ubu, sir? Not at all well. They've only produced 11 pence so far. On Strabat? What does this fellow want? Get out, Oaf. For I black both your eyes, cut off your head, and make corkscrews out of your legs. He's gone already, but he left this letter. You read it. I don't know whether I'm going out of my mind or, or whether I've forgotten how to read. <laughs> 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 read it, clownish female. It's probably from Manua. Exactly. He says that he has escaped from prison, that the Tsar has welcomed him most warmly, uh, that he is going to invade your territories and reinstate Bogolas on the throne, and that you will most certainly end up swinging on the end of a rope. Oh, oh, oh I'm scared. Oh, 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 I'm frightened. Oh, I'm at death's door. What's to become of me, poor wretch that I am? This nasty man is going to kill me. St. Anthony and all saints beside me. I'll shell out bags of finance and even burn candles to you. Oh, God, what's to become of me? There's only one course for you to adopt, Ba Ubu. What's that, my love? Oh, may God defend the right. Well, and nobly spoken! Oh, yes, and I get knocked about all over again. We must get the army to battle stations with all speed. And requisition a supply. Mobilize the artillery. And man the fortresses. And set aside enough money to pay the troops. Oh, no, you don't. I'm going to do you in. You are not shelling out any money. What a stupid idea. I used to be paid to make war. Now it seems I have to do it at my own expense. Why, my green candle, let's have a war. That's what Since it's you're all so yes. steamed up about it. But let's not spend a single sou. Long, Long live the war! Three cheers for the war! Long live Poland! God save all the world! Come on, Ma, pass me my helmet and my little wooden pick. I shall soon be so cluttered up, I shan't be able to run if they chase me. Pooh, what a coward. Oh, my Peshitta sword keeps coming off, and my Hainan's hook won't stay put either. I'll never be ready, and, and the Russians are advancing and will certainly kill me. Hey, Lord Ubu, your near rolling sizes have fallen down. You, I kill you with my Peshitta sword mm. and my face chopper. <laughs> oh. You, you dead. Ah, oh, how handsome he looks in his breastplate and helmet, just like a little armor-plated pumpkin. I am going to mount my horse. Gentlemen, bring in the Per Hainan's charger. <laughs> I am going to get up on you. Oh, I would uh, I better sit down, otherwise I shall fall off. Stop this runaway right brute! God Almighty, I shall fall off and suddenly find I'm dead. <laughs> what an idiot! Oh, now he's back in the saddle again. Oh no, he's fallen off again. <laughs> oh, all the physics. I'm half dead already. No matter. I'm off to the war, and they shall kill everybody. Good luck, Lord Ubu, my lord and master. Oh, I forgot to tell you, uh, I'm making you regent, but I'm taking the account books with me. So if you try to cheat me, you're in for a hot time. I'm leaving the palcontent Gyron behind as your assistant. Farewell, madam. Farewell. Great commander, and mind you, kill the Tsar, good and proper. Don't worry about that. Twisting of the teeth, pulling of the tongue, and penetration of the arrows with my little wooden pick. 
now we've got rid of that overstuffed dummy, let's get down to business. Assassinate Bogolas and get our hands on the treasures of Poland. But first, the treasures. Hey, Gyron. Come and help me. Help you? Do what, mistress? Everything. My dear husband wishes you to take care of everything while he is away at the wars. <laughs> so tonight... Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, don't blush, darling. <laughs> anyway, with your complexion, it's invisible. <laughs> hey, hey, help me cart away these treasures. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. old scoundrel Ubu has fled, which only leaves old mother Ubu and her pal content to deal with. I ask only to march at your head and restore the royal succession of my ancestors. Long live Bogolas! And we shall abolish all the taxes imposed by that horrible old Ubu. Right. Forward! Onward to the palace! This way, both the whole vile breed! Aha! There's the old hat! What can I do for you, gentlemen? <laughs> oh, it's Bogolas! Keep throwing stones, my friend! Oh, oh, oh. So that's the way to say. Defend yourself, cowardly bumpkin! I challenge you to single combat! Oh. I'm done for. Oh. Victory, my friends! Now for Mark Ubu. Ah, here come the nobles! Quick, let's see what we can do! Oh, yes, you do! And you will get straight up the old man with himself! have been a cannonball that just hit me. Dear God, I beseech you, forgive me <laughs> my sin. It was a cap pistol. <laughs> oh, so you're making fun of me, are you? Well, it's for the last time. You've had it. Now! to split a rock. You are safe. Mr. Ubu, sire, are you recovered from your terror and your running away? Yes, I am not frightened anymore. But my guts are still running. Phew, a crappy creature. <laughs> what about you, Mr. Tails? How's your Nero? Oh. As well as can be expected, sire, considering the fact is it's not well at all. Splendid, you're like me, boy. Always spoiling for a fact. <laughs> oh, my. Look at that little bow wow. Isn't it cute? <laughs> Here, look out! Cool, what an enormous bear! That bear! <laughs> oh, bear! Oh, oh, what a monstrous creature! Glory to me, Madonna! The oh, Lord of these mother It's coming straight for me! Ah! No! It's oh, got hold of oh, tail. Oh, that was a close Help! Oh, Mr. Ubu, sir, help! Help! Not me, my friends. Fend for yourselves. At the moment, we are reciting our paternoster. Everyone will have his turn to get eaten. I've got him. I've got half Nelson on him. Oh, well, keep it up. I think he's letting go of me. 
Come down off my rock. Do what you like. Gentlemen, you may pride yourselves that if you be still alive and still trampling underfoot the snows of Lithuania, you owe it all to the master of uh, Pahainans, who did not hesitate to climb to the top of a very high rock so that his prayers should have less far to travel, to fly to heaven. As he swan. Oh, what a fat animal. Thanks to me, you have something to eat. What is there to eat? I'm starving. The bear. And you, Mr. Ubu, sire, can go ahead with the carving. Oh, no. The creature may still be alive. Look, I distinctly saw it move. But he's already cold, Mr. Ubu. That's a pity. It would have been nicer to eat it whilst it was still warm. He really is repulsive. But give us a hand then, Mr. Ubu, sire. I can't do it all myself. No, not I. I have no intention of lifting a finger. I happen to be very tired. Oh. Oh. Snow, my friends. You would think we're at Cold Castile or the North Pole. That's nicer. It's getting quite warm now. But I see Russians everywhere. What a rout. Here. Did you hear that rumor that Ma Ubu was dethroned? You know, it wouldn't surprise me. You're right. Shall we desert Parubu or stay with him? Let's sleep on it. We'll decide what to do tomorrow morning. No! Let's slip away now under cover of darkness. <laughs> Let's go then. <laughs> <laughs> at last. Oh, what a dreadful journey. Crossing the whole of Poland in four days. But I'd give a lot to know what's become of my old fat buffoon. <laughs> oh, Lord, I certainly rolled him plenty. That smart Ubu chop off her nears. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm losing my mind. I'm lost! Oh, no! Heavens above. For thanks be to God, by my side I behold the sleeping form of Sir Ubu, the bold. But let's play it cool. Let's take advantage of the darkness. Let's pretend to be a supernatural apparition and make him forgive our peculations. By God's third leg, I'll be hanged if somebody isn't speaking. Not the bear, I hope. <laughs> yes, there is indeed somebody speaking, Mr. Ubu. It is the voice of the Archangel Gabriel, who is incapable of giving anything but good advice. You can stuff his advice. Don't interrupt! On stump up. Shut up, goddammit! Uh Angels aren't supposed to swear. Oh, per shit. Mr. Ubu, you are married. Too true, to a vile hag. To a charming lady. To an old horror. She sprouts claws all over. 
It's impossible to get one's hand up her anywhere. You should hand her up more kindly and gently, Mr. Ubu. If you were to do so, you would see that she was just as appealing as Aphrodite. Who did you say was an appalling frayed nighty? You are not listening, Mr. Ubu. Lend a more attentive near. Near? But we must hurry, for dawn is breaking. Your wife has never been unfaithful to you. Why, because the old hag's so ugly that no man in his right mind would give her the chance to be unfaithful. She does not drink. Only since I kept the cellar door locked. Before that, she was plastered by seven every morning. Now I have to get plastered all by myself. Silly idiot. Your wife does not steal your bags of gold. Come off it. There is only one way for you to gain redemption of your sins. What's that? You must forgive Madame Ubu for pocketing a little bit of your spare cash. All right, I'll tell you what. I will forgive her when she's handed back the loot and when she's been soundly walloped. It's getting light. We are lost. Oh, my green candle. It's my Ubu. That is not true. I shall excommunicate you. Don't be silly, you stupid old bag. I can see perfectly well that it's you. What, <laughs> what the devil are you doing here? Well, Garon is dead and the poles were after me, so I thought I'd better get out while the going was good. The Russians are yeah. after me, <laughs> so I thought I'd better get out while the going was good. <laughs> they say great minds often think alike. <laughs> They can say that if they like, but this great mind thinks it's just met a pea brain idiot. Is that so? <laughs> and in a moment, it's going to meet a palmy pet. Ah, oh, 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 my God, how horrible. Oh, I'm suffocating. It's biting me. It's swallowing me. It's digesting me. Ah. Dead, you freak. Am I going to be saddled with this stupid bitch forever? Come over here, Carrion, and kneel before your master. You are about to undergo the extreme penalty. Twisting of the nose, tearing out of the hair. Penetration of the nerves ah. in my little wooden pick. Extraction of the brain matter by way of the beak. Ah. Laceration of the posterior. <laughs> Long live Poland! <laughs> One moment, Mr. Polak, till I'm finished with Madam, my worst heart. Take that, uh, coward, scavenger, Scoundrel, infidel, muscle man! Take that! Great glass, his glass, out of a hard laugh, no snap, he got, bag off, you got that! Take that! Pig snout, lay about, horse tout, ox wiggle spout, idle out, boy scout, Polish clout! Oh, oh my god, we're getting a job. Let's tread on the Polax toes. Hey. Hi, my green candle. This is going on too long. If only I had my finance charger with me. Hit them! <laughs> Go on hitting them! Hurrah! There they are! Here come the Ubuists! Forward, quick march! To the rescue, financial gentlemen! Get out, you poles! Oh. Oh. Ah, Mr. Finance! We meet again! Come on, lads! Courage, Lord Ubu! Oh, I've done it in my pants. Forward, hard stamp up! Bleed them off! Kill them off! Shag them off! Skin them off! By Ubu's horn! They're falling back. There's only two left! That's for you. And for you. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, 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 oh. I think they have abandoned the chase. Yes, and Bogolas has gone off to get himself crowned. He knows what he can do with his crown. Ah, how right you are. Haru, boo. Boo, 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 boo. Breeze. We are traveling, uh, I estimate, 
at the almost miraculous speed of, uh, give or take a bit, about a million knots a half. All hands leeward! Close haul the mizzen! What a stupid idea. Don't all stand at one end of the ship. It's dangerous! Supposing the wind changed about, we'd all go to the bottom and the fishes would eat us up. Don't bear away! Hunt the wind! Pull and buy! There's only one solution. I'll take over command myself. Ready about! About ship! Let go the anchor! Go about in stays! Hold more sail! Haul down the sail! Up with the mizzen mast! Push the top gallant! Full speed of star! Give a volley! Splice the top gallant! How about you? My, what a ducking. Uh, is a navigation wonderful? What bliss it will be to see our sweet France again and all our old friends and our castle of Mont Dragon. Mon Dragon, may we. And uh, at this very moment, we are tacking by the island of Elsinore. Ah. Oh, May, what a bump. <laughs> nah, gallant bark speech like a bird on the white dark waves in the North Sea. Wild and inhospitable ocean that laps the shores of the land called Germany. So named because it's halfway to German Street as a blowfly. That's what I call erudition. It's a beautiful country, they say. Beautiful it may be, but it's not a patch on Poland. Ah, gentlemen, there'll always be a Poland. Otherwise, there wouldn't be any Poland. There always be a Oh!